Hey there Destiny fans, uh, my name is Jason with True Shot Vanguard. Uh, I just wanted to bring out a video to kind of show how I farm the helium filaments required to upgrade a lot of gear and guns at the moment. Uh, it's nothing really special, but it is something that I wanted to kind of put in a video and show because I have a lot of success with it. Uh, on the circuit that I run, I usually get, well I mean, I think in this video I got around 20 in about 8 minutes, so it's not terribly bad. Um, the wonderful thing about this is that it can be run once and then go on the orbit, or you can just come back and do it again because the stuff respawns so fast. Uh, I've actually been farming a bit today, and in the past, you know, here and there of farming, Let's scout the area. I've probably got about 80-something helium filaments. But as you can see, uh, start off at the spawn of the patrol mission on the moon, come over here, check both of these caves, as well as this middle piece, because sometimes it can spawn on the middle there, but check behind the rocks and in the back of the caves, all caves actually have a chance to spawn chests in the back and in the corner of the cave, like there. So check both of those, then peel off to the right here, and actually just head up the path. Now check on the left here in front of this door, as well as inside for chests. Sometimes you'll find laying on the ground outside and on a chest inside. Uh, as you come up here, make sure you keep an eye on the sides of the map here, because sometimes they'll spawn along the sides of the map. And loop back around to this back cave and check it. Nothing so far, but just keep on going. Pop down here, and as you go by, look at the tunnel in the back there on the right side of this building. Sometimes there, well, there's a chest that'll spawn up there, so just keep an eye out as you go by. Uh, check in here, sometimes in the middle of the floor, as well as back on that hill, there can be helium spawns. I always loop through this room right here to check for chests inside. Also, check the top of this building. Because if I recall correctly, there was, yeah, right there we are. So, you know, easy grab. And I'm just going to miss a few times because that sounds like a good idea. But the name of the game here really is speed, so don't worry about trying to kill everything. Just get up and head on out. There we are, another chest in one of these caves. This is actually the last cave of the farming route. Go over here and check along the sides of this ridge. Uh, you might want to go back in here just to see if there's a chest, because every now and then they will hide one back there. Cross over here, I don't even worry about checking this area, but up on this platform, sometimes over there, and underneath the platform, actually where I'm going right now, you can see next to the mission marker, there can be some back here. After that, check in this area, because occasionally there are spawns here. But other than that, we're going to wrap back around towards the spawn and check this car, because every now and then there's one there. That is the entire route. Um, like I said, you can either go to orbit at this point, or if you'd like, you can actually keep farming in the same area. I had actually planned on going to orbit when I filmed this, so I just decided to run around a couple times to kill some time, but then I saw a chest inside the cave, so I went ahead and grabbed it. Um, the great thing about this is, like I said, it respawns so fast that you can do this. Uh, you can flat out just keep running circles, say if you're talking to somebody or listening to music, uh, watching TV, whatever. Uh, it's very easy to just continue the circle and farm more. And like you see here, I mean, boom, two chests in a row. Uh, I think that it only goes up from here because there are quite a few places that spawn quickly. So, same route come around check in front of the door which there's one right there around the tank still check inside though because every now and then you will find more chests nearby nothing there we'll keep going around the outside here just checking to see if there's anything that spawned
nothing yet. Again, check the back corner there over the little pathway, as well as inside. Do a loop through this structure. This cave begins the last cave. And loop around here. Oops, still no hidden chest. Check the top and below. And then we head over to the car, and that's it. That's the entire path. So, I believe it's pretty straightforward, but it works really well. So, thanks for watching, and let me know if you know of any better areas.